artists, this is Mrs. Yeiser. I'm here to show you how to make a person out of aluminum foil. All right, so very simple actually. Here we go. So you're gonna get a piece of aluminum foil that must be a rectangle. The size of the foil will determine the size of the person. And what you're gonna do is you need a, some sort of a marker or a pen. First things first, let's fold our foil in half and then open it up again. From the bottom, you're going to make a line in the middle all the way up to that halfway mark, okay? Then, at the top, you're gonna make two lines. So you wanna try to break this up into thirds and you're not gonna go all the way down. You're gonna go about halfway from the top. So technically a quarter of the way down. Okay? So what's gonna happen is now we're going to get a scissor and we're going to cut on these lines. And as you can see, they're not perfectly uh, straight necessarily. They're not perfectly even. This is not necessarily exactly half, but it doesn't matter. Obviously when you're cutting, it's very, very thin aluminum foil, so you have to be very careful. All right. Next step, you're going to walk your fingers in and then squeeze in the center right here. This is going to become the waist or the torso of your figure. So I'm, it looks like I'm ruining it, but I'm not. I'm gonna squeeze right in the middle. And now you can see that I have these two, which are gonna become the legs. And when you do this, you're going to squeeze. Don't twist and don't pull, just squeeze. All right, now find the side pieces. These are the sides, these are gonna become the arms, and this is going to be the head. So we'll do the head after. First, start with the arms. Squeeze, squeeze. Now the head, um, you just don't wanna squeeze it completely because then it's gonna become very, very small. So the trick that I've found to work is to use just the tips of your fingers and that leaves a little hole in the center of your hand, which is where the head will be, and then the tips of the fingers are gonna be the neck. So I take one finger, put it inside, and then I fold it over, take my finger out, and now I'm just gonna squeeze around the bottom to make the neck, and I'm trying not to squeeze the, the head shape. All right, and we'll go back and tighten these all up, squeeze them a little bit more, make them skinny. This is how we got the inspiration from the artist Alberto Giacometti, and he created those very slender, skinny figures that don't have much detail, but they do demonstrate um, different gestures or different movements. So now with this figure, you can turn this person into whatever you would like. They can be in any pose that you would like, but regardless of what pose, you're gonna wanna create feet. So at the bottom, you're just gonna fold two little feet. That way when you, um, if you decide that you wanna glue them to something, you can, um, you can glue on the bottom of the feet or tape on the bottom of the feet. So hot glue works best if you have hot glue, use it with an adult so that you are safe. Um, and if you don't have hot glue, scotch tape, masking tape, packing tape all work very well and Elmer's glue, liquid glue, would also work, um, but it would take a little patience because you would need to hold it and let it dry. A good suggestion would be to get a hair dryer and have it next to you so that you can have the hair dryer on to help you dry the glue a little bit faster. Um, the one thing that will not work very well is a glue stick, so don't use a glue stick to try to glue your people down. So I've created two examples. This is completely made out of foil. I made um, a heart shape out of foil and I colored it with a Sharpie. I made a happy face and I made a peace sign and I glued it to them. And I glued the people to a piece of cardboard. As you can see, it's a very small piece. So if you don't have cardboard, um, if you could find just a little piece, that would be fine. Um, and then I just wanna show you quickly another version of this project that's a little more involved and I had more materials here. So. I did use cardboard um, and I created sort of a scene and then I added details using both cardboard, paper, and foil actually. So I made a little chair out of foil. This is Mr. Yeiser, he's sitting at our desk. I made a laptop and a piece of paper and a lamp out of paper. 
And then this is me with a face mask and gloves holding a thing of Clorox back there. I don't know if you guys can see that. And then I wrote, I'm ready to go to the food store. Mask check, gloves check, work glove. Um, sorry, Clorox wipes check. And then I created little backdrop scenes with markers and crayons and color pencils and glue. So um, these are just some ideas. However you choose to um, use your figures is completely up to you. If you want to just make a whole bunch of figures and just have fun setting them up on different things, you can do that. So like here's my paint jug. Maybe I'll have this person sitting on my paint jug. <laughs> so you don't need anything other than aluminum foil and scissors to make this project really fun. Um, but you have lots of freedom of what you can do afterwards.